Thanks so much for joining us here. It's so nice to finally meet you in person as well, so speaking on Zoom a couple of times. But I want to start with talking about the concept of pressing in football because it's such a major thing in the modern day football. Pochettino was a big fan of it, Antonio Conte is advocate of it. But as a player yourself, how much did you learn about pressing from Roger Smith back during your time oh. in Germany? Oh, wow. This is actually a very surprise, um, surprise uh, question. Uh, I think uh, this is the first time I proper ran uh, pressing pressing um, system because uh, I think he's the first guy who really brought in the in the in the level cousin team. It was a uh, crazy crazy pressing. I mean, every single training session we used to do the pressing uh, session. Well, sometimes it's just like wow, it was just massive because it's, everyone was pressing and then everyone, every eleven players was in the same area and it was like, you know, it's like it was crazy, it was mess. But uh, into the game when I was, uh, I really enjoyed it because uh, everyone seems like really, really close. But I mean, this experience helped me a lot when I joined uh, joined to Premier League. 100%. So, so in terms of that pressing that you learned back then versus what, what Pochettino then you learned as well and then Antonio Conte, how, how is it has been different? No, I mean, this is all about managers having, having something de details. I mean, uh, Roger Schmidt was uh, extreme pressing, like crazy pressing, I would say, because it was a crazy pressing and um, which is really, really, I really enjoyed it and it was really good and and uh, Pochettino was also different, different press, be pressing because uh, it's the, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain because it's all about details, footballers knows what's, what's going on and uh, I mean also this manager has a mind of, uh, a mind of the uh, press but manager Antonio Conte is more compactness for me is really important. I mean, press everyone together, you know, which is like everyone 30 meters, 35 meters, 20, 25 meters, everyone has to be together. And then you go in together this press. I think these details are, every manager are different, but I'm learning with happy and with joy because I mean, this manager is giving so much details and so much so much uh, improvement. I mean, it's just incredible when you watch this. Uh, this those the, those details gives me so much improvement. Well, you talk about every manager being different, and Tony Conte is very different. And I think everyone's well aware how animated he is in the press conferences, in the media. For us as fans, it's really nice to see that side of passionate side for him. But as players receiving instructions, do you think his animation and his energy, his passion? Do you think that adds pressure to you as players? Or no. do you think you feed off the energy? You actually no. feel more energetic from it? No, no, at all. Because I think it's a, it's a really, really positive energy because uh, sometimes you, as a manager, you can just sit on the bench and, uh, okay, yeah, let's hope we, we're going to win this game. But I mean, he just, I never see him sit down, you know? I never saw him sitting down on the bench because he just into it, you know? Like, just into it, passionate. I mean, feels like he's playing with us, you know? Like, and. And lucky I didn't pass on the touch right now because I feel, I feel like he's playing with us. <laughs> the ball is going to open. And so, I mean, uh, it's giving us so much positive energy because he's so much into it and so much you, passionate. It radiates from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, 100%, you. 100%. I mean, every single training session as well, he's always shouting, always giving the details because if somebody doesn't do what he asked for, he's... He's angry, you know, he's like... Is he very like, like he zooms in on every single thing? Not he really doesn't... zoom in, but uh, the details, what he asked for is really important for him. And then it seems like really important for us as well. So, yeah. and then everyone is just following this uh, direction and everyone just, everyone just loves it, loves it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I said this, um, this before, I mean, I fell in love because he giving us so much details and... Also I a lot longer see. training sessions as well. Even today you were, you were delayed as well. Until the, everything is just so much more with Antonio Conte. He puts so much work into the training. Period. Yeah, because it's important. I mean, training makes you perfect. So, I mean, sometimes uh, sometimes it's, uh, you feel like really, really long, but because we train long, because we need these details, and I mean, I'm and more than a win. Bit. You want to win, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because he, <laughs> if you follow and we're going to win because he know, he know how to win. Yeah, and the details and the output, if you look at your stats, has really improved under Antonio Conte, but your goals as well, 
have improved on Antonio Conte, looking a lot more potent in front of goal. Even though in comparison, your assist, um, usually typically you have more assists than goals looking in the past, but this season you've already met your Premier League tally um, in terms of goals, even though you still have games to play. But for Harry Kane, it seems to have swapped as well. He's providing a lot more of his assists, getting more involved with link-up play, even though his, his goal tally would have taken a slight dip. Nothing drastic, just a slight change. I did notice there's a change in dynamic between both of you, if you can try to explain that. I, I, I wouldn't say because this is not changing, uh, then I would play striker, isn't it? Yeah, but, no, no, uh, no. Is, uh, just, I think I would say Harry is playing just more for the team because he know he want to help the team. I mean, as a striker, you should sometimes you feel like you should be selfish, but Harry isn't because everyone think, okay, Harry was scoring of 20, 30 goals, but yeah. Do you think well, that's a very that's rare attitude? Because like you said, a lot of strikers like to be selfish. You know, I mean, Harry is, uh, sometimes Harry should be selfish and uh, Harry is uh, giving so much uh, so much for the team because sometimes he can shoot, but uh, he's giving assists and he's scoring goals. I think he's doing everything for the team. I mean, this, he has an attitude for strike. hundred percent. I know him. I know him. He's, he has it. But I mean, if he, he see that because he's dropping, he's have, you want to have the team. That's why I think, that's why I think goal is a little bit, little bit done. But as a team, as a teammates, I want us, I want, to Harry score so many goals because I want to win Harry everything because because I know what he does for the team, you know. So Do you this want to win the golden fruit then? Your prospects of winning the golden fruit this No, season. I want to be honest, I want I want <laughs> I want to Harry win because because what he does for the team is just incredible and I always I always say that I want to help to help Harry because look, I have a, one of the best strikers in the world next side to me and if you, if he can win anything, um, mm. I'm ready to help him. So. Well, uh, Dejan Kulusevski is helping you guys as 100%. well, form, forming into a really, really menacing trident. He adds something really different, a bit of a balance to that front three. Were you impressed at how quickly um, he adapted to the Premier League? When he first came in, the first training session, what was your impression of him? Mm, yeah, he has a something because, I mean, he, with that young, young age, it's not easy to be... Juventus player because I knew what uh, was he like and when he trained the first time was obviously it's not it's not the best feeling because it's always some new players coming it's always you look at it like a zoom in and mm. what he does what he what he's wicked what what he's good at what he's good not good at so I would look at it but I was really really impressed because uh, it was a was a really good session of him and uh, in the training and in the game I mean I know how it, Tough Premier League is, and I suffer so much. I'm, I feel like I'm still suffering because it's just toughest league in the world. And uh, but Kulu has uh, re adapted really well after three months. I mean, don't forget that he's only been in the Premier League three months, and it, feel, it feels like it's forever because <laughs> yeah. he's playing so well. Seems like he's really enjoying. I mean, uh, playing freedom. I think this is really, really important. That, uh, but I mean. It's not everything because he only plays three months. I, I want him that he show every potential what he has because I think what he showed, up, what he got in the potential probably not. It was not hundred percent, but because he have so much improvement because he's only what 21, 22 years old. So I hope that he's improving every single day, every single session, and every single season, so that uh, he can be one of the best.